Hi, I'm Peter Haddock and I'm here today on site with Lynch Plant Hire and Paul Keenan, you've joined me here today. You're the head of Machine Control Division for Lynch. So we're on a rail project here uh, with one of your key clients, Buckingham, and basically what we're talking about is a solution with machine control. And everyone's saying, what have we got in front of us here? This is a total station from Leica, folks, and people are going, 3D machine control? Why would we want a total station? You're going to answer that for me, Paul. Uh, what's it all about uh, with the Total Station and what's the project all about? This project is a, a rail project and the doors are behind us is actually creating a, a, a sub 10 millimetre platform. The Total Station we brought in place because where we are here, there's a, we're in a, a bottom of our valley. So the base station is, the, the signal from the base station isn't that good. So there's lots of different black spots and the radio signal is very, very poor. So what we had to do to go away from the traditional GPS solutions, we then uh, fitted with uh, the dozer with a prism, brought in the total station, and you now can actually have the connection directly to the machine line of sight, which will give you a sub 10 millimetre finish. Now that's really important folks, this finish, because we are on a rail line here. This is actually putting in a significant piece of infrastructure for the UK. And when you're talking about layers, when you're talking about building up a platform for rail, it's really important that you get those layers correct. And Paul, when we're saying sub 10 millimetre, obviously if we were using traditional methods where say we've got an accuracy level of 20 millimetres, well you're going to use twice as much uh, material and that's going to cost an awful lot of money when we're talking about a long line yeah, isn't it? Definitely plus the fact the actual surface you need for the rail has actually got to be very very flat very very tight tolerance yeah so you don't really get that with G traditional GPS solutions with the, total, the use of the total station that's what you can now achieve very, very easily probably in some instances sub five months. And what's also really important here is we're going to see not only this dozer but another machine that you've invested in and I'm quite excited about this folks because I didn't realise this was going to be on the site today. It's an excavator with an Encon tilt rotator which is using the co-pilot system. Now that's really a first for me to understand from Lynch as a, as a, a main contractor. You'd normally see that as a specialist contractor but yeah why, why that particular unit? We've actually got a few systems kitted out with the co-pilot uh, and to integrate into, into a range comb tilt rotating heads. Uh, again it really depends on the actual application. If you've got a very intricate shape that you're trying to follow the model then the range comb head is, is, is very very efficient. You don't need to reposition the machine that often because the head has that, got that 360 uh, rotation that actually the machine you don't have to reposition so you do it a lot quicker, a lot more efficiently and obviously to a very high tight tolerance. And the other thing for me on this site is what's really important when you're doing a linear project is actually the people plant interface is a huge concern because we've got a tight rail line here we've got vehicle movements up and down obviously we've got plant working up and down as well and what's really important there is is using the 3d machine control technology pool to remove people from the site isn't it the actual rail projects are very very tight projects so so you you, you can't have too many people as you said and within proximity of the plant what we have in addition, all the machines are connected remotely, so they use Connex, so again, you don't need to have the, the engineering resource too near the machines either. You can upload the design, you can uh, download all the as-built information directly from the machine as well. So again, you're taking all the, the people away from the actual danger zone, the red zone for the machines. And that's really important because here today, when I've spoken to uh, the, the team uh, at Buckingham, what they've done is they've actually created a digital team at Buckingham that's put together all of the survey information, all of the data from the client here, uh, so that they can actually give the information to the team at Lynch. And then it's about your team then converting that into a 3D model for yeah. machine control, isn't yeah. it? Yeah, we actually put it through the actual emulator. So uh, we actually make sure that actual design is fit for purpose and working. Uh, so before the machine goes to actually site, we've actually already proved that the design works. So in theory, when the machine goes right off the wagon, it can go straight to work. What that really does is it allows the team to go in, start the machine as soon as they get to work, and then they're at work. And also, what's really important, I was talking to Buckingham earlier, is they're wanting as-built data 
to go back and almost in real time in certain set respects but on sections like this to know that they've done it properly to then be able to go on to the next section they're then sharing that information with their own customer and their client and so fundamentally that allows everybody to map what people have done on site and it allows people to learn from that experience doesn't it what it also does more importantly as well actually makes you understand where you are against program what the, the machines can do, they can actually do the dip checks, they can actually do the levels, it, the, which, which then lets the customer work out what volumes they've put in uh, or took out, as, as the case may be. So you can actually manage your resources according to, to where you are against your programme. Uh, so it's real life information, it's a one version of the truth. And I think what's really important about that is we're looking at different materials and sub layers and things like that on this project. And we've got certain areas which need a certain fill and we've got certain areas that probably need about three times as much of that. And what that is about is, is about the just-in-time delivery of materials as well and the management of that with the roads. I mean, we're, we're looking in this project uh, around country lanes and things like that. So we don't want to disturb the, the local residents, but we do want to make sure we've got the material supply there as well, don't we? There's no guesswork involved. You know exactly. What, what you've done and, and that's what the technology does and so technology working in this project here a different element here actually that I didn't expect uh, when I was coming down here today but it really does show that actually you have to think about the whole project you have to think about how technology is going to work within the environment and actually how you can make the this technology with the total station and the dozer actually work for the client doesn't it Paul no job is ever the same in construction is it no definitely because if you look at the topography of every site it's different so you need to have a bespoke solution and that's all point of what the, the machine control division does within Lynch. We give bespoke solutions to the client. This is why I love machine control. This is why I love technology, because we can deliver better outcomes. We can burn less fuel and actually we can deliver projects on time and on budget. And all of that creates a more sustainable environment, everyone. And fundamentally means that, Paul, we're burning less fuel, yep. less carbon into the atmosphere and hopefully one day when I'm on site, the sun will come out. Today it's a bit dull, but hey, it's been a fantastic time to come here with Lynch Plantar and discover what the machine control division is really like in real life. Paul, it's been a pleasure. Thank Thanks you. very much.